da, da, da. Da, da, da. Let's look at shelf angles and we'll move our way up the wall. This is a conventional shelf angle. So let me, why would you, why would you just want to put a horizontal angle in your wall? Isn't that expensive? And what does it do? And yes, it is expensive. So what we try to do is, is use these sparingly and not use them at all if we can avoid it. So what the building code says is that anytime you have 30 feet or more of unsupported uh, brick veneer, you need to um, provide accommodations for movement. So the shelf angle is not there for structural reasons, it is there for movement reasons. And that becomes apparent when I show you the 2D section. So if you've got 30 feet of brick down here from the bottom of the building up to the 30 feet up, you you need you know that brick's going to grow. So just like we have vertical expansion joints for horizontal expansion, now we have to have horizontal expansion joints for the vertical expansion of the brickwork. So here's that horizontal expansion joint. So a typical shelf angle will have an angle. It'll have a soft joint underneath. The angle, of course, anytime you have steel this close to the exterior of an envelope needs to be flashed. And anytime you have flashing, you have to have weeps. So here's my weep every 24 inches on center. We didn't talk about weep spacing, but the building code lets you space weeps every 32 inches on center. The IMI recommends every 24 inches on center maximum spacing. We'd like to space them a little bit closer. And then here we have weep vents at the top of the lower cavity. So here we have a weep vent at the bottom of the upper cavity. The boundary of the cavity is defined by the, the continuous angle here.